Here we're given the frequency table and, out, and we're asked to find the mean. So we have to work with the data in a frequency table. It's really pretty simple though. You're going to enter the stats mode in the calculator. Remember you probably want to press on, make sure everything's clear. Then um, you want to enter the stats mode which is the mode decimal point key. You'll see the little SD appear in the upper right hand corner. And then you simply enter uh, each value based on the number of times it, it's listed as a, for its frequency and do M plus in between each one. So for example, the first thing you want to enter is the number two. but you want to enter it three times. So you do 2m plus, 2m plus, 2m plus. Then you want to enter a 4 twice. So you do 4m plus, 4m plus. Then you want to enter a 5 twice. So you do 5m plus, 5m plus. Then you want to do a 7 once. So it's 7m plus. Then an 8 four times. So it's 8m plus, 8m plus, 8m plus, 8m plus. An 11 twice, so it's 11m plus, 11m plus. And then you want to enter your last one once. Now I've left this off on purpose because I've seen so many people make this mistake. When you enter the 13, you still have to put m plus. If you don't, that 13 is not entered. So be careful. And as I've said earlier, you can use the Shift 6 key to see how many numbers you enter. Now, if you add these up, 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, you're going to get a total of 15. And so if you press Shift 6 here, you should see 15. If you don't, you've made some sort of mistake. So be careful, be very careful about getting the right number of numbers in there. And the mistake I see over and over again is not putting that last M plus on there. Once you get all the numbers in and you're satisfied that they're in correctly and the right number of them, then you simply calculate the mean by using the shift 7. And when you do shift 7 and round your answer to the nearest tenth, you should get a mean of 6.5. Remember, you're asked to round it to the nearest tenth. Take your time. Be careful. Check everything that can be checked as you go along. Using the same data set, they're now asking us to find the median instead of the mean. So now we're looking for the median. The simplest thing to do is to figure out that you have, and we've, we totaled them up in the previous problem, but if you total those up, you have 15 values all together. Three twos, two fours, two fives, one seven, four eights, two elevens, and one thirteen. So the median is going to be the one in the middle. With 15, 15 is odd, so there's going to be seven on each side, and the eighth one will be the median. So if you count down, you've got three, then you've got two more, which means you've got up to five, then you've got two more, which means you've got seven. So the eighth one, the eighth value, is going to be the median, which would be seven. And you see you have 5 plus 2, you have 7 here, and you have 7 here. So the eighth one is the one in the middle, and that's the median. Now, if that's a little confusing to you, you can also simply write them all out. So, for instance, if you just want to forget that and say, well, I'm just going to write them out. There are three twos, four, uh, two fours. Then, of course, once you get them written out, you can again see that there is 7 here, 
and 7 here. So the middle value is 7. So either way you look at it, the median is 7. Third question asks us to find the mode for the distribution. Now that, this is the easiest one of all because the mode is the most frequently occurring. So if you look down this list, you're going to see that the most frequently occurring is the 8. It occurs four times. Nothing else uh, occurs that many times. So the mode is 8. And a frequency table is the perfect way to quickly find a mode. You simply look down your list of frequencies and pick the value that has the most, uh, the highest frequency.